Hi, my name is Sydney Herman. I'm going to be giving your tour of the business school today. I'm a marketing major with a minor in digital communications, information, and media. This is the second floor lounge. This is one of two lounges in the business school. And I also just want to point out on the second floor, there is the Bloomberg terminals over there, which is going to be important for finance majors. And then also in the second floor lounge, we have comfy seating outlets and just a great place to study overall. This is a team room. We have them on the second, third, fourth, and fifth floor of the business school. It's a great place to come and do independent work, exams, interviews, and also pull in your teams to do team projects or presentations as well. One thing to note is these rooms can only be reserved by Rutgers Business School students, so we have access to them and no one else at the university does. But if you want to pull in your friends or classmates from other majors, you can. They just cannot reserve the rooms. We're currently in one of two of the flex rooms in the business school. You have more of your interactive type of classes here. And usually there's going to be around 50 people in those classes. And when I had my management skills class in one of these rooms, it was very interactive. I worked worked with the same team from beginning to end and that's kind of how we did the entire class. In your classrooms, those are going to be 30 to 60 people and that's when you get more major specific so you're kind of branching off from everyone. It's really nice because now you have the opportunity to have more of that one-on-one -on -one relationship with your professor. We have one lecture hall in the business school, that's room 1095. It seats around 420 individuals and it's never going to be hard to see or hear what your professor is doing because there is a really big screen and also they have microphones so it's never going to be hard to hear them as well. In those large classes, the classes will also break down into recitation sections. So you're going to have maybe around 20 people that meet one time a week with a course assistant or a grad student maybe, and they're going to review what you went over in class. You can ask any questions. Maybe there's a small little project you do in there. So we're now in the fifth floor lounge. This is my favorite place to study. I usually come here in between my classes, or if I have a night class, I'll come here beforehand just to get some schoolwork done. I like how bright it is. I know a lot of students typically say that, so it's a lot easier to work with the light coming in. What's really cool is the business school is very close to the Livingston Dining Hall, which is most students' favorite dining hall. And also there's a Starbucks really close to our building as well. We are now at the Office of Career Management, which is a really important resource for all business school students. While the entire Rutgers University as a whole has to go through the Office of Career Exploration and Success, we have our own Office of Career Management right inside our building. What they do is they can work with you for resumes. Maybe if you're deciding between two internships and you don't really know which one is the best for you, they'll go over your preferences, your wants and your needs, and they'll help you decide what's best. There is something that we do every single semester. There's career fairs. So the Rutgers University as a whole has career fairs that every single undergrad student can go to. But the business school itself also does career fairs and only business school students can go. So it's kind of a lot easier to network when there's less people. Behind me is the trading room. This is a room that is important for finance majors. A lot of you guys will be taking your classes in here. It's similar to most classrooms. However, at each seat, there's going to be a desktop that has software on it that you're going to be using in your classes. Everything that I just showed you was inside of the North Tower. We also have a South Tower in the business school as well, which is connected by a bridge. In the South Tower, we have one classroom and we also have all of the professor's offices if you ever need to go to office hours. Every floor is organized by major, which is really nice. And I say really take advantage of office hours because if you have that relationship with your professor, they're going to be more than willing to help you in the end of the day. So we're really close to the Livingston Plaza bus stop. It's about a two to three minute walk, which is really nice. Rutgers University is really close to New York City and Philadelphia as well. So you can walk to the New Brunswick train station. It's about a minute walk from the yard bus stop and you just can head on there and go straight into the city. So that concludes our tour for today. Thank you so much and we hope to see you soon.